Hey guys, it's Aramar from me, coming in with an update. Um, I am eight weeks post-op gastric bypass here in Columbus, Ohio, with Dr. Thomas Einstein at Riverside Methodist Hospital. As of today, I'm down 45 pounds, even though this stupid webcam makes me look like a fat cow, but it is what it is. Um, anyways, uh, this is week eight, like I said. This week I have been super nauseous, so I've been taking my nausea medicine. I also, my incisions for my second surgery have, are healing, and they itch like mad dogs. Worse than the first time. So, try not to itch them. Um, what is going on? I have tried Quest Bars, and I like them. I'm waiting for uh, Cyber Monday to order them, because I hear there's going to be all kinds of specials on that. Um, not only am I lactose intolerant, but eggs. My pouch hates eggs now. So no eggs. So I don't know what I'm going to do. So food is a daily, daily struggle. Um, water is a struggle. Um... I need to just up my water. Just the past three days, I haven't been able to, you know, get my water in. And I have never been able to get my protein in. Just, just can't. Um, so I just keep pushing. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, we got, we put a down payment on a puppy. I decided, um, I had been um, breeding Yorkshire, teacup Yorkshire Terriers for a couple of years. And I gave it up just because my mom, the female I had, that was having puppies, she was a terrible mother, and it was just so much work for three puppies. It was just, you know, just too much work for how much money you made. Not that it's all about the money, but it is when I spent every day bottle feeding these babies. So I just got it fixed, and we let it go. But I wanted to get a big dog that didn't shed and start puppies again. So we got a red standard poodle. Her name is Reba. We don't pick her up until December 3rd, um, but we are so excited because we want a family pet again, and Yorkies are awful, awful potty training dogs, so um, uh, standard poodles are the second um, smartest dog in the world, so um, anybody I talk to that has a standard poodle loves them, I've, I've never heard anything negative about them. So, um, I did have a toy poodle growing up, but it's a little bit different. Standard and poodle, um, standard poodles are better with families or small children. So, that's exciting. I'm excited to have her, and then I'm excited also to be able to walk her, and that makes me have to walk. It makes me get out of the house and move, so I'm excited about that. Um, we decided that we're going to look for a house, so we have been house searching, kind of, um, kind of, I don't know. We're having a hell of a time finding something I like, and it keeps going black. Sorry, guys. Uh, I am uh, recording from my webcam, so it looks like I have gray eyes, green eyes, whatever. No, I have bright blue eyes, and I look like I'm a little ghostly. I hate this webcam, but my phone's dead, so I wanted to get an update in. Um, I'm still getting all my vitamins in. Um, I'm trying to introduce new stuff, but it scares me because a lot of things are making me dump. So, um... You know, I'm trying. I'm doing the best I can. Um, Thanksgiving is coming up. Everyone keeps asking, are you worried about it? Hell no, I'm not worried about it. One, because food makes me sick. A lot of a lot of bad food makes me sick. What not that why we get I get the got the R and Y? But, you know, it makes me sick. So I'm not worried about, you know, snacking and all that. Um, I've never been a Thanksgiving Christmas kind of gal. I that kind of food just doesn't strike my fancy. My mom or my grandma makes a jello with um brew in it and I'm definitely going to have some of that. Um, sugar doesn't seem to make me dump. Uh, so it's not that I'm going to engorge in that but I'm definitely going to have a little bit. Um, and then probably just turkey. Um, I am wearing today and it's actually, I put them on and by the end of the day they're huge. My Aeropostale clothes I had bought, my NSV because I couldn't have uh, Worn those 45 pounds ago, and I love sweats in the winter. That's where I live in sweats and my bare paw boots. Well, I have three new pairs of bare paw boots. But Amazon had a deal, so I, of course, took it on. Um, as of Black Friday, I wanted to let everybody know I tell everybody about this. If you don't like to fight the crowd, like I don't like to fight the crowd, though I have fought the crowd before and I don't like it, um, Kohl's, the past three years, I discovered this three years ago. Um, offers for four hours 
all the same deals you get if you would wait in line. Um, every year I get new towels. Their big one, their brand big one towels are $2.99 for a large one. It's fantastic. I get I get all new towels every year. I don't know. I'm just weird. Um, also, if you like a fleece, large feet fleece blanket, like to like lay on the couch with or in bed. That's why I use them in bed or on the couch. Um, they are like thirty or forty originally, and they're like eight. They're eight ninety nine on Black Friday. I always order a couple of those um, to get in, and um, like pillows and all that stuff. But I just want to let everybody know that if you don't like Black Friday, that's fine. Um, not a, it's not for everybody. Um, but if you want to be like online shop, I'm an online shopper. I love it. Uh, you can get the good deals in, and you also get like a shit ton of Kohl's cash, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do uh, for Thanksgiving. That's a tradition of us. We always do that. Uh, the day night before Thanksgiving, we're gonna take our children and my family are gonna take the kids to the zoo lights here in Columbus, Ohio. We have a really good, sorry, really good uh, zoo. It's like top rank, ranked, and they have a Christmas display. And so we're gonna take the kids for the first time this year. So that's exciting. Um, again, I'm just going to try to keep pushing forward. I mean, it is what it is. I, I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. Um, some days water just doesn't get it. I, I mean, and what pisses me off the most is it's like one day it'll be fine, the next day it won't. One day it'll be fine, the next day it won't. And I just feel like it's hard to play my life around it, but whatever. I mean, I'm working at it. And you know what? The 45 pounds in eight weeks. Honey, I am not complaining. I'm hoping to get to 60 pounds before Christmas. If I don't, I don't. But that's my goal by Christmas. Or maybe by the first of the year, 60 pounds. That'd be great. Um, I'm so excited. Um, Liz, or Finding Elizabeth here on YouTube, uh, posted today on Facebook that all these people are going to be at the WLSA convention um, in May in Nashville. I am so fucking excited to meet everybody because I am going, well, my husband's coming with me, but you guys will love him too. Um, he is, he has lost a sub substantial amount of weight on his own. He did not have weight loss surgery, but he is a fucking hoot. And, uh, so we'll have fun with that. And I'm excited to meet everybody. Uh, I just am so excited. So I'm, uh, so comment below if you're going to come. I'm be excited to see everybody. Um, there's a couple of things I want some of you I wanted to talk about. Uh, one is um, some of my people that I just want to talk about, I guess. Uh, one is Liz or Fighting Elizabeth. She was talking about um, in one of her vi her last video, I think it was, um, about how you go to a therapist. She's uh, going to see a therapist or whatever, and I totally agree. They say you go through this identity crisis, and that's That'll probably be me, and I can't wait. I, I'll have to find one too. And I think that's just very powerful for her for one to admit that um, she, you know, needs the help, and two that she's going. I mean, that's amazing. She does not know how amazing she truly is. Um, she's lost a shit ton of weight. If you don't aren't following her, do she's finding Elizabeth here on YouTube. Derek R N Y. He's going to be training for a half fucking marathon. Who thought about that? Being an obese person, that he could be a man. You know, he'd be running a half marathon. I wish him well. I wish you well, Derek. Um, maybe I will find my little exercise niche. Um, and I wish him well, too. Uh, Lindsay Flagrovia, she, she is kicking ass this week, boot camp. Um, she's awesome. I love her. Uh, well, I love you, Lindsay, and you know I do. Um, so uh, I wish her the best, and I wish no one was stopping me but me. Gracie would make a video because I love her. Millie May, uh, R and Y Jody, she's pre-op, and she's amazing. And we wish her well to have her successful surgery. And if I'm forgetting anybody, I'm sorry. Um, oh, also, Scotty, seriously, you you like rock, rock it every freaking week, really. Anyways, um, I'm so excited this week because I found out how many people are going to the WLSA. 
Um, and I'm rambling on, and it's been almost 10 minutes. I will let you guys go. Um, I hope everybody has a happy and healthy uh, Thanksgiving. And remember, it's one day if you want to splurge, one day. Um, so we'll be talking to you guys. Take care, and I love you all. Bye.